I'd like to know where. Where? Jordan 101 style. Where is the best pass rush duo in the NFL now? Yeah, I'll give them their credit. Um, I wanted to go a little bit of a different route, and I went with the Cleveland Browns. Um, one, I feel like we don't truly appreciate what Miles Garrett did last year, along with Olivier Vernon, who tore his Achilles towards the end of the season. But they add in Jadavian Clowney. Now you got two guys who went number one overall with high promise. Miles Garrett, I think he's fulfilled expectations a little bit more than Jadavian. Mm. Jadavian, at, sure. at times, um, you know, would have good seasons, but the numbers didn't back it up. I'm not saying that he doesn't make an impact on every play, but Miles Garrett is an absolute destructicon, and he'll, stat, uh, he'll pad the stat sheet. So for me, having these guys together and maybe Jadavian Clowney being motivated by young Miles Garrett, this can up his game. Guys that can easily get in double-digit sacks. I see these guys 22, maybe 25 sacks this year if they're both healthy wow. because they have a dominant defense and linebackers and DBs that can also help with the quarterback holding the ball, which every D lineman loves that, Sean, as mm, you know. That's a dog pound. Yeah, mm -hmm. ain't lying. You, <laughs> love, you love to see where defense coordinator is going to line up, Clowney, too, because you yeah. have options. You can yep. put him over the center. You can put him Move everywhere. Him around. I'm going to go to where I currently live right now in a pass rush duo that we have been waiting to see rush the quarterback together, and that is fifth overall pick Bradley Chubb. Let's go. From 2018, number two overall pick from years ago, Vaughn Miller. They envisioned both of them going after quarterbacks together. We've only seen it, guys, their rookie season. When Bradley Chubb was a rookie, he had 12 sacks. Vaughn Miller had 14 and a half. Then Chubb missed the next yeah. season. Then Vaughn Miller missed the next season. And we've been waiting to see them back on the field together. When I was reporting on training camp, as we love to pump all of us going to different camps, and I talked to coaches in Denver, they were like, we're pulling Vaughn Miller out of drills. He is that disruptive heading into last season before the injury occurred. Oh, wow. He was ready for, in Vic Fangio's mind, the best season of his career. If he can get back to that, and he's motivated that this might be the end for him in Denver, potentially, or if he'd like to play well and get a new contract, yep. those two guys going after quarterbacks, specifically the ones that are in that division, Sean, should be a good time to watch. The crowd in Denver helps that. Uh, yep. I, I tell you, third downs, if you're if you're the away team in Denver, those guys, uh, I mean, you're running silent count all week long because that, they absolutely Everyone just factor. jumps up and down to it's stay enormous. warm the whole time. You can't oh, hear yourself yeah. think. Accurate. No, it, it, it helps their get off, and, and, and no doubt – um, you know, Va Von Miller's got some great dances, as we saw there. Let's see him. Look, I I'm going to go out west. Take me to Hollywood. Give me the L.A. Rams. Give me Aaron Donald and Leonard Floyd right now. Now, people might not think of them as this pass rushing duo because they're not both edge rushers, but you're seeing the destruction right now by Aaron Donald. And the fact that he has continued to do this as a defensive tackle, continued to have double-digit sacks, to take over games. He's had a couple of four-sack game performances. It's, it's remarkable. He's the most destructive and most unblockable defensive lineman in the game right now. What would be your game plan against Aaron Donald, Sean? Go. Run away from him. Okay. Throw the ball quick. <laughs> cut him. I would, the first play of the game, I would cut him. Make him think about his knees a little bit. Um, I think when you factor in <laughs> Leonard Floyd me. having a big year ah, last year, so nice off coming off the edge. <laughs> Uh, this is just a this is a great combination, and I know we're seeing all uh, Aaron Donald's highlights, and there's some Floyd right there. But look at the production that these two had last year: 24 sacks combined. Yeah, that's pretty impressive right there. Mm -hmm. uh, right I think up. Stafford is gonna like having those guys on his team. Right ahead, make Donald him think about his knees. Easy there, Something. blue eyes. Yeah, you gotta keep your hands down, Kay. You get no bad at balls. I, I I sit next to Nate every morning and. I, I can tell over time when he starts really falling in love with a player. Najee's one of them, a rookie. But you have this thing with Donald that's happened over the past, I'd say, like six months. You just, not that you've never, you always loved him, yeah. but you extra love him now. He's just so dominant. To play from the interior, I don't think we've seen anything like yeah. it. And he's unstoppable. Yeah. Like He's one of those guys, if you put one dude on him, he will get to your quarterback. Put two, the chances are high. Put three, he still might get there. Yep.